Echo 3 to Echo 7. Hano, buddy, you read me? All right, are there any treasures in the collectibles? Let's check it out. Whoa, right off the bat, Slash. Rock on, this dude is super cool. And Venom's no slouch either. <laughs> oh man, oh, yeah, he's, he's fierce. Yeah. Right in his backhand too, he has uh, Spider-Man's uh, oh, uh, yeah. mask. It's kind of hidden in there, but it's a great detail. That's cool. Oh, check this out. War Machine, Marvel Legends, retro, comic book style. This dude is rad. Welcome everybody to Collecting Star Wars and Merry Christmas. We're here in Tampa, Florida, where the temperature is dropping into the 20s, but that's not gonna stop us from going toy hunting. So join us today as we head out to Walmart, Target, our favorite comic book store, the Coliseum of Comics, and GameStop to find out what deals we can find and what toys are left. So join us for a Christmas Eve toy hunt adventure. Jingle my bells. Look at the line for checkout. Holy cow. Yep, shopping on Christmas Eve, baby. <laughs> Always a fun time. All right, let's see what last minute toy treasures we can find at Target on Christmas Eve. There we go. Yo, Joe. Got the Crimson Bat. The Python Patrol. Already got one, but still always cool to find. Hanging on a peg, actually in a store. Nothing much else other than the classics. Check out the Star Wars stuff. You can get your Mandalorian mask. That's fun. And you can get the Clan of Two. Rogu plush. <laughs> Whole batch of these fellas. Obi-Wan's build of a lightsaber. We got some figures. We got the Ahsoka credit collection. It's kind of turning into a peg warmer. My, my target that I work at, the same thing. We got an abundance of those. This one's out now too. Got your ATST for the micro squadron. We got Jango Fett's. Slave One ship and a bunch of Tikas. We got the Dark Trooper. You can army build these guys, check them out. As well as the Shore Trooper. Many, many, many Shore Troopers here at Target. <laughs> Rock on. So, not too bad, not a huge selection, but still some fun finds. All right, it's one thing to expect to see empty shelves on the day before Christmas, but to find that somebody stole or bought the, the price scanner at Target, well, that's a bit of a surprise. Crazy. <laughs> Check this out, this caught my eye. It's Bowser's Airship. Deluxe Bowser's Airship playset. Comes with Mario, Bowser's on the front. You can take the deck off and use it as figure storage for all the different Mario figures. That would be a cool display. It'd be a lot of fun. Kind of digging this. Here's something that's definitely on my Christmas wish list. Even though I don't really play the Star Wars board games that I have, I can't help but want to, want to get into this one. Star Wars The Clone Wars, what's not to love? Epic, and it comes with these great miniatures too. Cards, a cool board, and I know it's based off a of pandemic, but with a Star Wars spin on it, Clone Wars era, dude, this would be epic. Definitely want to play this game. Come on, Santa, come through for me, buddy. All right, are there any treasures in the collectibles? Let's check it out. Whoa, right off the bat, Slash. 
Rock on. This dude is super cool. Nice. Love the aesthetic, the color, the animation style, the snarl on his face. The eyes look really good. Box is cool. That's pretty rad find right there. What else we got? Black Adam. That's nice. Some cool Super 7s. <laughs> Whoa, check out. Sewer Samurai Leo. That's fun. What else is there? Got a black and white Joker, 66 Joker. Well, E.T. Here we go. 40th anniversary NECA E.T. The speak and spell. The generic Reese's Pieces. You can put the sheet around them, different hands. The flower pot. Nice. Love me some E.T. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with the Funko that I got, but this is still a cool action figure. American Werewolf in London. There's the full-on wolf figure. That thing's big. So still a lot of cool finds over here, Target Collectibles. I'm not gonna be disappointed in the variety. Well represented, a lot of good stuff. More TMNT goodness. We got Michelangelo's street style. Comes with the Walkman. He's got his jacket on. And there's Raphael as well with his weapons. These are fun. Check out all the alternate versions there are. And there might be one more hiding. Yeah, I think we got Leo, street style. Cool, man, got that Letterman's jacket on. Nice, I like these. Rock on, check out this end cap of Batman's on sale. Nice, the animated series. It's got a button in here. What's it do? Okay, kind of lights up. Kind of hard to see with the glare, but of a lightning effect that's fun there you go that's what it looks like out of the box nice find who doesn't love batman animated series come on now who doesn't love this all right finally let's see if we can avoid some of the madness of the lines we're going over to order pickup we ordered a Christmas present for Mrs. Collecting Star Wars, so here's the line for that. Let's see how long it takes to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, we might be here for a minute. All right, seriously, that took like five minutes, so rock on, Target. We got our stuff. We're heading on to the next store, do some more toy hunting today. Woo! Christmas at Coliseum of Comics. Favorite comic book store. This should be fun. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ooh, and let's head right over to the Star Wars. Dude, that is an impressive amount of vintage collection and retro figures. Don't often find so many. Coliseum of Comics. They're coming through. Merry Christmas indeed. That's a cool figure. Once they got, they got Obi-Wan, Wandering Jedi. They're deep on these too. Nice. Okay, cool. That's clever though. Firing him out of cannon. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you were right, man. Check that out. Unmasked. That is wild. Wow. Incredible likeness too. Oh yeah, it's very well sculpted. It's from the Hush series. Okay. Which I always thought was like a really great rendition of Bruce Wayne. Definitely. That Kate too. Yeah, the cave is super dope. And Venom's no slouch either. 
<laughs> oh man, oh, yeah, he's, he's fierce. Go. Yeah. Right in his backhand too. He has uh, Spider-Man's. Uh, oh uh, yeah. Mask. It's kind of hidden in there, but it's a great detail. That's cool. He usually has like little tendrils coming off him, but we didn't put him up there because they're a little more fragile. So. Okay, sure. Love this Ahsoka too. I've seen it before, but every time. She's solid. Oh yeah, every time she grabs my attention. Decent amount of Black Series too. Darth Maul, I still haven't picked him up. What is wrong with me? Sergeant Krill. Nice. And that Leia is really striking. Oh yeah, even the white Vader. From Infinities. Too. Like the animated Clone Wars Kenobi. Right next to Grievous. Oh, that Biker Scout. Intense. Finished collection. Mace Windu, Yoda's here. Comes with some great accessories like the backpack. Shea Vizsla, one of the best figures that came out this year. Right beside another candidate for that award, Lando. Ooh, yeah, I like this Marvel Selects vision. Great face sculpt. Look how serious he looks. Plus the alternate head. A little bit more intense. Cool figure. This is cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's definitely a premium set. Got cloth uniforms, all kinds of alternate hands to put on, 
expressions, dude. Presents really well though, that's nice. Whoa, check this out. War Machine, Marvel Legends, retro, comic book style. This dude is rad. Man, check out all the accessories it comes with. Missiles, blast effects, cannons. That great color contrast between the light gray, almost white, and the black. Dude, this packaging, this figure, the bio, I'm loving this man. Yeah, this guy is super rad. folks Walmart on Christmas Eve everything you dreamed it would be and more let's go check out the winter wonderland that awaits surely on this Walmart toy hunt <laughs> all right toys toys what do we got what do we got plenty of dinosaurs Jurassic Park ain't hard to find this Christmas and these retro cards I only see Baroness and Lady J not that that's a bad thing just can't find any others and I would like to see the rest of the wave but nope even though they got three pegs full they're all Lady J or Baroness and mostly Lady J and there really is a lot of stuff still here it's not like the empty peg days of a couple years ago toys are packed in here they might not be the newest or the most sought after but if you're looking for Motu, if you're looking for wrestling, if you're looking for Fortnite, if you're looking for Star Wars, DC, it is represented. It is here. And that is cool to see, especially for Christmas, for last minute gift ideas and gift and toy hunters on Christmas Eve. You are not going to be out of luck. You can find something fun. There's a lot of fun to be found. So rock on Walmart. Even the ATTE Walker can be found. We picked this up a few months ago. Um, but yeah, you don't see it too often. And it's here, day before Christmas. Super surprising, but a great find. I mean, they definitely busy, but I've seen Walmart worse than this, that's for sure. These lines aren't so long that you would expect it's Christmas Eve. This just looks like Saturday. <laughs> so really can't complain. Pleasantly surprised, I suppose. Woo! Who knew Christmas Eve would be such an exceptional day to go toy hunting? Let's show you what we found. First, when we went to Walmart, we picked up this awesome Star Wars reusable shopping bag with Mando, Grogu, riding on a Bantha. It's the Sons of Tatooine are setting. Really cool. I'll use this bag again and again, but let's find out what's inside. First of all, while we were at Target, we found Mr. Knight. Really was hoping to find this figure. Great sculpt. Love the look of Moon Knight in a suit. It's kind of a white Deadpool informal attire kind of look so totally thrilled to find this one and something unexpected that I had no idea I would run into I didn't I wasn't hunting for but sometimes toy hunts turn out to be uh, full of surprises and War Machine is a big one check him out this awesome retro carded rowback figure loving this guy can't wait to open him up do a review deck him out in all his accessories those blast effects those missiles he is killer cool, super stoked to find War Machine. And since we went to Coliseum of Comics, 
We also picked up some comics. We got Yoda number one. This is really cool. It's him reflecting from Dagobah as he's awaiting Luke Skywalker to visit him. He thinks back on some previous adventures that he had in the Clone Wars and the lessons that he learned. So a cool issue that I'm looking forward to reading. And then Star Wars Revelations is here. This is really deep. It takes place um, again during the uh, original trilogy era where Vader is having uh, his own vision and revelation uh, from a visit from the Eye of Webbish Bog. So totally thrilled to see what secrets are revealed in this issue. And look at that cover. So cool. And we also got Darth Vader issue 29 in the continuing series. So thank you all so much for watching. Hey, stay to the end. We're going to show you what we found at GameStop. And also, be sure to follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Stevo Says Stuff. And on Instagram, we're collecting Star Wars YouTube. And remember to have a happy and wonderful holiday. Merry Christmas to all. Because, um, what do I always say? Oh yeah, be kind. Stay strong. Because you are the hero of your own story. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays.